Cardano is testing a crucial support level. If that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. Eighty-one point eight percent of you just click the subscribe button. Let me help you. I can be like one of those guys, you know. Let me help you help you. Click the subscribe. Hey guys, Finger Charts here. Welcome back to another Cardano analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free six hundred dollar Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see from yesterday's video, we of course tested our beautiful support level here at thirty one cents, and we had a nice break above. I mentioned the fact that I would be a lot more confident once we got the second and third test opportunity opportunity and as of right now you can see we have successfully tested the 31 cent level three times the only difference is of course the fact that we aren't seeing a clean breakout formation just yet what i am looking for of course is a strong bullish move set retesting our previous highs here at 34 and a strong break above this resistance level speaking about this resistance level you can see from previous price analysis this level acted as a decent support we had a beautiful bounce and then the continue continuation to the downside before we actually continued breaking below we actually retested this level as resistance and then had the confirmation as of right now though any clean break above this level i mentioned the fact we tend to see cardano go absolutely parabolic we saw the same thing over here when we actually started our first run up all the way down from 39 cents we saw cardano go all the way up to around 58 before we finally had the move to the downside right now if we do look at it from this perspective we can easily see that same continuation pattern but we have to be very careful here the reason why of course is the fact you can see cardano is overbought in terms of rsi as well as the fact that we do have somewhat of an m formation being formed for those of you that don't know what an m formation is i mentioned it in yesterday's video as well it can look like something like this and then the continuation or the fact you can just see this as a bart formation but regardless both of those patterns on the four hour time frame are extremely bearish as of right now i would consider this a no trade zone and if i was looking to scalp i would only be looking for shorting opportunities because of the fact that you can see how over leveraged cardano really was from this massive breakout formation we had even on the hourly time frames you can see that bart formation actually looking to play out a lot better and the take profit level would be around this 28 cent support i mentioned the reason why this 28 cent support level is very important is you can see from previous price analysis once we broke out of this resistance we actually tested that level as support for that confirmation before we had that massive move to the upside right now in terms of a pullback opportunity that range would also be a beautiful area to test before that final confirmation for that breakout because of the fact of how much weight it actually holds usually when you have a massive breakout you would like to see a major support level be tested so that's just of course if the 31 cents support level is broken and the hourly BART plays out, that would be the area that a lot of people will be looking to take some profits. Of course, once we get that range and actually start to consolidate in between there, we can possibly be looking for that continuation. Now, in terms of the bearish case scenario, I do want to talk about this. If the 28 cent support level is broken, which you can see we had the same sort of price analysis here. Once we broke that support level, we had a massive move to the downside. If that same sort of situation were to happen, ladies and gentlemen, we would classify this whole move as a fake out because of the fact that we never really tested our major support here at 23. You can see we got pretty close to it and then had a strong move to the upside. But until then, we haven't really seen that clean contract confirmation just yet once we get that first test second test and third test then we can start focusing more and saying that this was a local bottom formation but you guys already know i have taught you to be very very careful in these price ranges when you don't test a major support level but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a wonderful day